Lane Thompson wrote that the Stormtrooper has guns coming out its... Yeah, Lane Thompson posted a comment on my review of the Star Wars box set. He said the Stormtrooper has guns coming... Why are those dots there? Has guns coming out its back. And sure enough, you can see right here, it's got the guns coming out the back. Other people noticed as well, and I was so focused on lightsabers because the other ones had lightsabers. I didn't take a moment to pause and think that the Stormtroopers obviously are not going to have lasers. But they have their uh, guns. As a matter of fact, on the box it showed the Stormtrooper with a gun. We'll get a closer look. Let's zoom in on the guns. Kind of small. You can see them sticking out right there. But uh, this Stormtrooper right here, he's called the Battle Damage Stormtrooper. He's exclusive to the box set. He has this Battle Damage Tampo going over the top. It's not sprayed on. It's a nice printing. But you know why he's got Battle Damage? It's because he's got his guns coming out the rear. Why would you have guns coming out? How are you going to do battle if you have guns coming out your rear? Hot Wheels has this shell shock model. And you can see the barrel of the gun right here made into the headlights. Very creative design. There's the revolver. Let's see. Let's check his... Nope. Nothing back there. Enforcer. Right there on the side so you could face your opponent. Nope. Nothing in the back. Invader. I actually had a projectile for a while. Nope. And Stingrod, this is another military model. You can see the artillery on the roof and in the front and in the back. Of course, nothing. So on the box it shows the Stormtrooper holding his gun uh, forward. Unfortunately the vehicle doesn't have it in the front. Yeah, I'm poking fun. It's still a nice model. It's a nice box set. You get the exclusive Battle Damage Stormtrooper exclusive to the set. We're finding it at Target, but I don't I don't know if this means it's exclusive to Target or not. We're just finding it at Target right now But anyways, these four models are part of the first batch I showed you the Darth Vader single I had found and then so here's the four that are in this set Chewbacca, I had not been able to find the single. He's not in the set But now Not only did I find Chewbacca, we're gonna take a look at him But we're gonna take a look at a couple cars that uh, have also popped up if you want to pause the video to read the bios, I'm going to show you the first seven cars, their bios that are on the back of the card. By the way, if you would have been following me on Instagram, you would have seen pictures of my Star Wars finds over on Instagram and on Facebook and Twitter. I'm over there too. So just because you don't see something on YouTube for a day or two or three, uh, I'm always on those other places. If you like to keep your collectibles in the package, these things stand up very nice. The graphics, fantastic. Uh, I'm a big fan of this series so far, but I like to open my stuff up. So here we go. I really like the scale that they're using for these character cars. Look how big Chewbacca is next to R2-D2. That would make sense, right? Yoda, small. So... He's like a big rig. In the back he has his fifth wheel attachment as if he was a, a, a big rig to haul a trailer. This kind of looks like a bow and arrow. I'm not sure if that comes from the show or not. I mean from the movies. But it's a nice vehicle. The, the body is metal and the different accessories are plastic. Doesn't take away from the appearance at all. Has decent amount of weight to it. I really like how they I really like how they textured his hair. It goes all the way down the front over the head, down the base of the uh, trailer there, the hitch area. Very nice. Nice de nice attention to detail there. I like that a lot. Tuscan Raider, you look at him, he looks like a Tuscan Raider. Really like the attention to details with these character cars. You look at him and you you think, "Yep, that looks like a Tuscan Raider." Got spikes coming out the side, got a little cargo area where he's hauling gear or something in the back, supplies I should say. Yeah, I like this one too. Take a look at the inside, got an interior, there's the driver's compartment, the steering wheel, Chewbacca, he has an interior as well. A little hard to see, you need more light, but there's a steering wheel. 
on the left hand side as far as the clone trooper this one here you can't see he's got the blacked out window so I'm not sure if he has an interior or not metal body plastic base just like all the other vehicles so far the first seven is that seven all of them metal body and then uh, plastic components for the bases and the features and accessories I'm really liking this series I'll be buying them all now some of them some of them I might get a couple some I get might get a handful that's what I like to do I like to collect and if you're a fan of my channel you know I like the track so let's see who fits on the track and who doesn't Hmm, I was not expecting him to fit. Uh, he rubs a little bit on this one, on this track. He's rubbing a little bit, but he does fit. You may be excused. Chewbacca. Free rolling. No problem. Yoda. He's small. We knew he was going to fit for sure. Let's turn it so he doesn't land on uh, Chewbacca over there. R2-D2 Easy Darth Vader No problem Oops, I think he landed on Chewbacca Luke Skywalker I love those lights right there, they're uh, plastic Not painted on Easy, easy rolling Here's the uh, damaged trooper Yep. Who else did I miss? I think that's all. Tuscan Raider. Free reeling. I guess only one of them. One of them was a little snug on the sides. This one's just a touch snug. And I guess that was the one that was a touch snug. Otherwise, everybody rolled really well. At the top of the video, I talked about this box set. So if you'd like to check that out. I also talked about his guns. If you're into military diecast, uh, I have a playlist. You could click that for my military playlist. Or if you like real working rigs, you can check that one out. And there is a Star Wars track set. That's where I got this uh, racing drone from. You can click him to check out the Death Star Battle Blast. And uh, as always, you can uh, find the subscription link on this page if you're not subscribed. Or follow me on the other social networks, as I said. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I have a fan page and a community. Uh, come on by. Share pictures of your collection in my community. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.